The world has experienced many deadly outbreaks in the 21st century. Before COVID-19, there was the severe acute respiratory syndrome epidemic of 2002 to 2003 and the H1N1 pandemic of 2009 to 2010, also known as the swine influenza virus. What do SARS, H1N1, and COVID-19 have in common? All are viruses, they likely originated in animals, and anyone who is infected experienced flu-like symptoms. SARS and COVID-19 are both caused by the coronavirus, and the first human cases were documented in China. Even though more than 8,000 people were infected with SARS worldwide, there were only eight confirmed cases in the United States. SARS never became a pandemic, but H1N1 and COVID-19 did. The scientific criteria for an influenza pandemic have been met. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Many in the United States have died from H1N1 and COVID-19, but none from SARS. H1N1 was more widespread and infected between 700 million and 1.4 billion people. H1N1 didn't affect seniors as much as COVID-19 and SARS because people over the age of 60 had antibodies against the virus, possibly due to early exposure to an older strand of H1N1. There is no vaccine for COVID-19, but there are vaccines and treatment for SARS and H1N1. Officials predict a vaccine could become available in 2021.